what's up guys welcome back to destiny updates just a quick update for you today so in more consoles latest video he pointed out something quite interesting on ryan wenner's linkedin profile now ryan wenner is senior director of product management at activision so on his profile he says currently leading marketing activities for the hotly anticipated new gaming universe destiny under development at bungie the creators of halo he then continues leading a cross-functional team through planning across a wide variety of business and marketing issues including marketing strategy, product strategy, monetization modeling, partnership and business development, and more. Now the key one there is monetization modeling. Now monetization modeling should basically mean the business model for monetizing the game, essentially for earning money from the game, how they're going to do that. Now we already know that Destiny is going to be your standard box release for $60, it's not a free to play game. But aside from that initial purchase, games often have other means of earning revenue after the fact, such as DLC and of course, the hated microtransactions. Now I think a lot of people are jumping the gun a bit here and assuming that this means there will be microtransactions in Destiny, which is definitely a possibility and to be honest, probably is a strong possibility, but in my opinion this is not confirmation of that, because I think traditional DLC that we're used to could also fit under that category. So this doesn't really prove anything other than the fact that they're looking for alternate means of income after the game's launch, which is to be honest quite a given. Now again, microtransactions in Destiny are a very likely possibility, to be honest. A lot of games are implementing them now, and as much as I don't like it, I think that's just the way it's going to be going forward. Now if they do something where like they design additional weapons, or additional vehicles, or additional dungeons, or whatever, after the game's launch, and then obviously you have to buy them, I consider that DLC, not microtransactions. Even if it's just a gun, I still consider it to be DLC if it's made after the game's launch. If something is held back when the game is launched, and you have to pay to unlock it, then I consider that microtransactions. Now I think there are ways they could do microtransactions where it wouldn't be too annoying. Now I think for me what that would be is if the game was built without the idea of microtransactions, and everything was earned at a normal pace, and everything played fine, and then after the fact they added microtransactions as a paid shortcut to get certain things. But I think the real crucial part for me is that they really need to be purely cosmetic. If you can pay a dollar to get some cool looking cape or something like that that you would normally have to play a good part of the game through to get, then I don't think it's that big of a deal. It definitely still kind of sucks for those of us who actually go and earn it for real in-game, but I don't think it really breaks or does serious damage to the game in any way. But on the other hand, if you can just go buy a weapon or a vehicle or ability or whatever that's really high level and you're not supposed to get until you've played a lot of the game, then I think the game becomes pay to win at that point. Where it really doesn't matter how long you've played or how skilled you are, all that matters is how much money you've put into it. And I think when that happens, the game essentially just becomes broken and nobody can have a good time anymore. Now since we're already going to be paying $60 to get the game, and then probably an additional decent amount for the DLC expected every other year, currently codenamed Comet, plus smaller DLC items, stories, whatever else they might be bringing up, I think they need to be extremely careful if they do decide to implement microtransactions. But again, don't take this as confirmation for microtransactions, because it isn't. This could just mean DLC, we really don't know. And also, I think we should just have a little faith in Bungie. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a huge Bungie fan. They've been my favorite game company for a long time. And I think they've always been quite community and fan-oriented. I've never seen anything where they really screwed their fans over. And I've always seen them as a really fan-friendly studio, always promoting fan creations and doing cool stuff like that. And of course, giving us amazing tools like Forge and Theater, which are completely community-oriented and are just awesome. Nobody else does those things. So let's definitely not be too quick to judge and have some faith in them. Anyways, that's it for this update. I hope you enjoyed. I definitely kind of rambled on with my opinions and thoughts in this video, which I don't normally do. Please let me know in the comments if you like that or don't like it. Would you guys rather I just quickly got the facts out there and left it at that? Or do you like hearing my opinions and thoughts on things? Please let me know in the comments, I'd really like to know. It's also important to see how I should do future updates. If I should do more like this, where I kind of go into detail with my opinions, or just do them real quick and get the news out. So definitely let me know. But that's it for this update, I hope you enjoyed. I've got another Destiny video plan that should be out in maybe a day or two. It's not really news, but more of a sort of a recap I suppose you could say, but a bit different, it's more specialized. You'll just have to wait and see. But hopefully that'll be out in a day or two, so stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the latest Destiny news. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next update.